Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the recursive formula for the sample variance of a series of n numbers. So, by definition, the sample variance is given by the variance at the nth value is equal to 1 by n multiplied by j equal to 1 to n, the difference between the ith value and the sample mean whole square. So, this is the sample variance. This is the bias sample variance and in general people use n equal to n minus 1. I mean the, the factor as 1 by n minus 1 for unbiased variance. So, uh, in this derivation we will just use the bias variance. So, now we want to derive a recursive formula for this variance or the variance at the nth term. So, this can be rewritten as 1 by n summation from j equal to 1 to n now we write this term as we rewrite this term as x of i minus we use the recursive formula for the sample mean that is x sample mean at n minus 1 plus x of n minus the sample mean at x n minus at n minus 1 divided by n now this can be rewritten as 1 by n summation j equal to 1 to n x of i minus the sample mean at n minus 1 plus minus x of n minus the sample mean x at n minus 1 divided by n. So, these are the two terms the square and we have the square. So, now we have a minus b whole square where a is equal to this difference and b is equal to this ratio. Now, by rewriting the first term, by rewriting the a square term, we have 1 by n summation j equal to 1 to n x of i minus the summation minus x the sample mean at n minus 1 whole square plus 1 by n summation j equal to 1 to n x n minus the sample mean at n minus 1 divided by n whole square. And we also have plus 2, 2ab term that is 2 by n square into the summation j equal to 1 to n x of i minus the sample mean at n minus 1 multiplied by x of n minus the sample mean at n minus 1. So, we have three terms now. Now, we can rewrite the first term as sum of two terms that is 1 by n summation j equal to 1 n minus 1 x of i minus the sample mean at n minus 1 plus there is 1 by n x of n minus the sample mean at n minus 1. So, this is nothing but the sample I mean this is nothing but n minus 1 times the variance at n minus 1. So, this is n minus 1 by n into variance at n minus 1. This is from the original definition of variance. It is when you put n equal to n minus 1, we get this formula. That is basically we are basically dividing with and multiplying with the n minus 1 term. So, the next this is term 1 plus 1 by n x of n minus sample mean at n minus 1. Now, we write the, now we I rewrite the term 2. That is, term 2 is equal to basically this difference is independent of the value of j. So, this is nothing but n times this square term. So, we have n by n that is 1 into x of n minus the sample mean at n minus 1 whole square divided by n square. So, we write it as 1 by n square. So, the second term basically becomes this value. 1 by n square into the square of the difference. And the term 3, that is this 2ab term becomes, that is term 3, this becomes 2 by n square and this term is independent of j. So, we take it outside, this difference x of n minus sample mean at n minus 1 into the summation of this term. So, that summation can be rewritten as summation j equal to 1 to n x of j minus x n minus 1 is equal to 
2 by n square, the difference xn minus the summation n minus 1. And this can be rewritten as n times the sample mean at nth value minus n times the sample mean at n minus 1 value. And this is equal to, excuse me, this is this is a minus term. So this is a minus, minus, and minus 2 by n square x of n minus the mean at n minus 1. And this is also, and uh, since sample mean, uh, by using the recursive formula for sample mean, we can easily rewrite this term as x of n minus the sample mean at n minus 1. So this is equal to 2 minus 2 by n square into x of n minus sample mean at n minus 1 whole square. Now by adding these three terms, that is term 1 and when term 1 and term 2 and term 3, we get the variance at n equal to, that is the recursive formula for variance is equal to 1 minus 1 by n into variance at n minus 1 plus x of n minus sample mean at n minus 1 whole square into the first term has a coefficient excuse me there is a square here so the first term has a coefficient 1 by n the second term has a coefficient 1 by n square that is 1 by n plus 1 by n square the third term has a coefficient minus 2 by n square so this can be rewritten as the sample variance at n minus 1 plus on this basically becomes 1 by n into 1 minus 1 by n do the difference square. Therefore, the sample variance at nth value is equal to uh, the uh, weighted sum of the sample variance at n minus 1 and the square of the difference between the nth value and the previous mean. Thanks for watching.